think in order to give the vulnerable a voice in CBA financing, you really have to, to be engaging those communities from a bottom-up level, where we've seen the most success is in those cross-functional relationships between the government, the NGOs, and, and those vulnerable communities. And it's not really, it's not necessarily top down. While I, while I think the, the policy and the financing gives a great infrastructure and backing to a CBA program, it's really, it really needs to be flat decision making where their voices are heard at the same level as everybody else. And, and I think it's really important to, to research, to research the vulnerable and understand what are their needs, what are their beliefs, and what are their attitudes before, before you move forward and before you start thinking about how the project will be financed, how it will be carried out, and how you'll how you'll begin to engage the community in this in this working relationship.